Hi, my name is Sharon Hunt, international event rider. Uh, with my horse Tankers Town. In 2008 we were lucky enough to win a bronze medal at the Beijing Olympics and then we also won the four star Le Moulin in 2010. The Heinegger Clippers have been absolutely fantastic for our yard. We have 20 horses to clip each winter uh, and we also clip them throughout the summer. And when you're going from top to bottom with each horse, it takes a significant amount of time. The Heinegger Clippers leave such a good clip that we don't have to keep going over them and we can go from top to bottom in roughly an hour. So today I'm going to clip Winston. It's really important that he's had a good wash and bath the day before. His coat needs to be as clean as possible to ensure that the clippers are able to run through the coat smoothly. So it's really important to check that your cable is it's safe and there's no damage to it before you start. Obviously the electricity runs through it so it's got to be safe and protective. Um, there's varying different types of blades to use. Uh, depending on the horse, depending on how hairy it is. If you have a particularly hairy horse that's just come out from a winter holiday, you'd want to use coarse blades. If the horse is either having a reclip or has less of a coat, you probably want to use the fine blades. Um, it's important to make sure, obviously, the, the tension is correct as well with the blades when you put the blades on. Uh, I tend to put them on and then turn them back one and a half turns usually, but it obviously varies depending on how hairy your horse is and which blades and which clippers you're using. The main thing about not having the blades too tight is because that they would rub otherwise and cause a lot of friction on the blades and make them very hot. The looser they are, obviously, the easier that they slide. It's also really important to use plenty of oil and use the oil every five to 10 minutes to make sure that they are running smoothly and they don't get overheat. Obviously, when you put hot blades onto the horse, it's not very comfortable. Um, it's also really important to be able to make sure that you brush the air vents off and keep the blades clean. This goes with the other blades or the other clippers as well on the other blades. They have different areas to clean up, uh, but predominantly on the blades here and around the back. Okay, so I'm going to start from the back end first. I use long, slow strokes and lines and obviously making sure that it's as even as possible so I don't have to go over the area. Okay, you can start to hear that the clippers just make a little bit of noise and the blades just rub against each other. That's often the time to be able to make sure that you go and put a tiny bit more oil on. The other thing I tend to do is you'll see me checking the blade temperature to make sure they're not warm because horses do not like having hot blades on them, understandably. I will turn them off and just put a tiny bit more oil on them. Boy. Ah. Cleaning the hair off first to make sure that the oil does its job. Okay, so we carry on. I am always paranoid about horses moving and standing on cables. And it's my worst nightmare seeing someone clip with them by their feet because it is electric running through and accidents do happen. So if the clippers aren't clipping as they should, uh, make sure after you've tried increasing the tension, if that doesn't work, then you need to make sure you take them off and get them professionally sharpened. If you keep increasing the tension, all that will happen is you make the blades very hot and obviously uncomfortable for the horse. So take the blades off and get them professionally sharpened and have a spare set just in case. So I'm just gonna change from the Progress to the Explorer just to start doing his legs. Uh, these obviously haven't got a cord and are run on a battery. So they are, for me, a little bit safer to be able to use in some of the slightly more fiddly areas. These also give a really good close clip. You'll see that they don't leave lines. You also have to be particularly careful when clipping their legs. You obviously have very sharp blades. You need to make sure that you're going very carefully and, and slowly around some very important structures. Okay, so 
to really make sure I get in all the um, tricky areas down the bottom of the foot, I will then change to these clippers, which are the Sapphire clippers, also Heinegger. And these are brilliant because they're very quiet, but they're also extremely easy to be able to get in all the tricky areas. So you can give the ultimate finish to your clip. I tend to use these also for the ears and really tricky areas because as I say they're a little bit quieter and just a little bit easier and to get in all the little gaps and around the bone area. Good boy! <laughs> Some horses really don't like their ears being done and so that's when we did both sets of clippers really come into play. Generally, it's the noise they don't like. So um, to make it safe, I keep his head collar on. Boy. And you might notice I talk to him a lot, just to reassure him. It makes a huge difference to them when you're relaxed with them. Good boy. Good boy. You can see he's pretty unfussed by this. <laughs> I'll do the majority of them and then I'll change to the sapphire clippers. Okay, so you use the smaller clippers, smaller sapphire clippers here, just to be able to get in all the little bits around the eye. Lovely horse. You looking good, boy. Okay, so that's Winston finished. So it's important to clean your clippers up afterwards. We take the hair off and the blades. So it's really important to look after your clippers. The better you look after them, the better they will clip. It's, it's, it's recommended that you, you have them serviced every year. It's really important to be able to clean these out. But you have to be very careful and mindful of the, if they've just been recently serviced or they're brand new clippers, of the grease that's put and you have to make sure that you don't lose the grease. So all that remains now is to take the batteries out of the battery clippers and put them on charge so they're ready for the next clip.